Jim. Hi there. Long time no see. Absolutely, Jan. Nice seeing you. Nice to be see, see you as well. Now you stopped here and you um, you told me something. Absolutely. What's going on? So I have a uh, Sonics with a Viking 110 engine. It's uh, got 700 hours, just under five years. Excellent performance, and it's just been just a per like a kitten engine. Uh, rarely have I had an issue where I've had a mechanical problem due to it. And uh, that support has been phenomenal. I've called you on weekends, texted you on weekends, and you're right there and you're able to answer my questions and provide some very good insights of things that I had not thought of in correcting the problem. Well, that's very generous and nice of you. We all know, for people that have been in the Viking family that have these engines, that Obviously, as our company has grown, we have uh, changed, upgraded, made better, and all that. And the, the 110 was our first engine, this Viking aircraft engine. And uh, some of the earlier models did have some tweaking. Uh, and we do have a uh, uh, thing on our website that talks about uh, service bolts and upkeep and how to improve on that engine. Uh, and how do you, how do you, uh, now you have one of the latest engines? So that is correct, one of the very latest Viking 110 engines. Okay, and uh, as far as the upgrades uh, that had to be done on that, and first of all, uh, congratulations, 700 hours in five years. Absolutely, yeah. It's amazing. One and, hour uh, at a time. Okay, <laughs> what do you think about uh, that whole process of doing these upgrades and stuff? Because now that our new engines, they sell, people put them in, they hardly ever touch them. Right. Regular maintenance, yeah. and all that. Now you've had a little more than that, probably, yeah. some upgrades? Yeah. yeah, a few little upgrades, and then I also moved the radiator. The original radiator was hanging off the gearbox, and I okay. moved the radiator back further for CG, as well as just performance, and then modified the cowl a little bit. But I did get a, an original Viking cowl for the Sonics, okay. and uh, that has been working great. And I, I just love my airplane. It's, uh, it's never let me down. Talk about your airplane and the type of flying that you do and, and why you love it so much. Absolutely. So I do a lot of uh, air work, 60 degree bank turns, left and right. Um, I'll do what I call a thread the needle maneuver, which is a uh, uh, wing over about 270 degrees instead of 180. And I do a very light aerobatics with rolls and loops. Uh, okay. But that's my typical flight profile is that I will go 10 miles from the airport and do my thing and come back and maybe do a few touch and goes and just enjoy the Viking power on those touch and goes. And how about like, so that's part of it. And you, so you would you say you're less of a cross-country pilot? I'm less of a cross-country pilot. This uh, winter my upgrade was to put an autopilot in a Dynon pilot, autopilot servos. And uh, so now I'm going to start exploring the long range with the aircraft and I've really enjoyed that of that different aspect of being able to fly cross country. So not only are you flying the 110 in the Sonics, but you're also kind of horsing it around. Absolutely. Power on and off. Yes. Um, all that kind of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So the Viking 110 checked all the boxes for the electronic fuel injection and uh, liquid cooling. So there was not a lot of issues with getting the cooling right. Uh, just like every airplane, you can't see air. Okay. So you've got to do a little bit of tweaking, but uh, it's been well within logic of how much tweaking on it. And uh, as far as your recommendation to someone that is in the market in today's world for an air engine for a Zenit or a uh, Sonics or whatever, uh, would you recommend our company? I would absolutely recommend your company. It's, uh, it's a little bit discouraging when I hear so many people mention Jan and it's just got that electric personality to it. It's just, it's unfortunate. Your level of support as a, a small company has been on your level. I really appreciate it. All right. Part of that, I think in the last five, six years also, I got married to Alyssa. And uh, Alyssa is a much more of a people person than Jan me. So uh, customer service has obviously uh, stepped up a notch from me being the designer and wanting to test and more focused on the engine. And my wife handles that and I'm really happy that you've seen that support. Yes, absolutely. Even, even before Alyssa was involved, your okay. level of support was phenomenal. Okay, well thank you. Enjoy Oshkosh. All right, thank you Jan yeah. so much. Thank you Viking and uh, all of your excellent support and your excellent product. It's uh, it's been a wonderful airplane, a wonderful engine for you. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, John.